Hello crafty YouTubers, it's the Cranky Crafter here and I'm come on today because um, a little while ago I showed in a video that I had created um, this little mini, well actually I've done two, um, one was a Mickey Mouse version which um, my daughter asked me to make for her and she's already taken so um, I can't bring that one back because she won't let me so <laughs> this is the one I've got left to show you and this is the one I made a little shaker shaker mason jar on the front there and all it is is a just a little mini um, a three by three the pages are three by three um, but it actually measures three and a half by three and a half um, with the covers but on the one I'm going to show you I'm actually going to reduce the size of the covers because as you can see um, well, as you can see there there's quite a gap there um, if you want to leave them three and a half by three and a half that's up to you but I'm going to reduce to three and a quarter and um, because I think it would just look a little bit better with, you know. so that's it that's what I did and I put little pockets in and put some tags in and on the um, the Mickey one I actually left the pages at the top open so that you can put tags in there as well and I'm going to do that today or attempt to do it because I've already tried once and failed miserably and if you can see my hands are really quite puffy and swollen and have been for the last three days and so I'm having a little bit of trouble um, uh, with my hands at the moment um, they don't seem to want to do what my brain's telling them to do um, and they're a little bit stiff so we're going to give it a go um, what you'll need you'll need a 12 by 12 sheet of paper um, any will do patterned will do I use patterned in this one and it doesn't have to be double sided um, uh, because you're not going to see the other side anyway um, but you need a 12 by 12 sheet and then you'll need some um, chipboards and this is quite a thin thinnish chipboard because that one's quite a harder chipboard but I thought well for what it is for a little mini use up your little bitch that you get in your paper packs isn't it to keep it straight and nice and it is it, you know it's a good quality um, chipboard so use those up and yeah and these are three and a quarter by three and a quarter um, or if you want it in centimeters three point uh, three point eight eight point three by eight point three centimeters uh, aren't I clever I worked all that out I did it in the last video as well <laughs> Oh God, please, fingers crossed, this one goes okay. Now, what I've decided to do with this um, is um, because for the insides, I'm going to use I'm going to use a plain piece of paper because it's just easier to show you um, on, for the tutorial. So this is cream, believe it or not. I know you can't really tell, can you? Because the camera is so pants. It's HD as well, but the colouring is just awful. And I, and I went into my scrap bag and I found my Christmas paper. And I'm sorry, people. Yes, I know Christmas is still July. But for my scraps, I didn't want to go and get... Um, I didn't want to use another sheet of paper, so I thought I'd just use up my scraps. And this collection that was in my scrap bag... And here, this is all my scrap bag all my bits of scrap paper and everything in um, well this is called Tis the Season and it is probably my favourite Christmas paper and I've had it about three years now this pad and it's coming to its end so um, I'm going to use these papers for the cover and some of the little pockets and tags and things that go inside and it is all blank on the back so that's what we're going to do now what else do you need glue that helps anything to decorate it with I'm probably not going to decorate it um, I'm just going to show you how to make it and then you can do yours however you jolly well want and um, yeah so let's get started first of all 
um you'll need to score your paper now if you haven't got a scoreboard because not everybody has especially a 12 by 12 one um just use if you've got one of these or a, um you know a, what are they called what they're called you know one of these things foam folder that's the word and your ruler and just go hold it on your on your board and just go down with it measure and go down you know or some people have them on their cutting machines don't they they have the blade on the cutting machines anyway anyone can do this and you're going to score at three six nine simple isn't it because you're going to make three by three pages so let's give this a go three hope you can see what i'm doing score on three score on six and score on nine so you've got that then you're going to turn your paper sideways and then you're going to do the same thing score on three score on six and score on nine scoreboard away or you might need it later um right so now you have your squares you can see it's squares i know you can see it. i can see it in the camera so you should be able to see the squares now what you're going to do and this is the most complicated bit because you're going to cut it i'm sorry i'm really croaky let me have a sip of water it is only nine o'clock in the morning here and um, that's it that's it sorry about that people now you're going to cut from here and you're only going to go up to here you're not going to cut obviously you're not going to cut these strips off so you just want to cut up to there now you can do this with your scissors or you can do it with your paper trimmer and you're going to do that one you're going to miss the middle one and then you're going to do the end one exactly the same so from these two are going to cut those lines up to that point there I'm going to use my scissors because my trimmer is not accurate so I'm going to um, cut up and you know my cutting is not very good either because of my hands but we'll give it a go we shall give it a go cut up to just that point there oh, I'm really making a big zero with this one I tell you oh come on hands that's it there right and then we're going to do the same here there we go just up to that point so you've got that middle piece and that, that's not that's not cut and we're going to turn the page around and we're going to do the same thing to the middle line now from the same point to the same point is that you know well not exactly the same because you've turned the page round hopefully so we're going to go from here up to there there we go so you've got something like that hopefully <laughs> if you've got something like that then you've done it right if not rewind the video and watch again because <laughs> believe me it's not that easy now what we're going to do is get this corner here and we're going to fold it towards you like that and then you can get your own folder if you've got one or a side of a ruler or a side of a pair of scissors and we're going to do it like a mountain is it a valley and mountain have i said that right so then we're going to go under whoops like that and then we're going to go over towards you now at these corners you're going to go under sideways like that because you're going to be folding on the creases of the score lines that you've made and then you're going to go over and then you're going to go under 
and then you're going to go over again and then that's when I give it a good old burnish like that and, throw it back over. and then you're going to go under sideways I'm going to do that one burnish because that didn't look that great right and then you're going to go to um, over and under and over then under over oh come on hands under and over and then just give it a good old burnish and you know you can obviously take your time with your cutting and everything because it, when you do you don't get your lines and your pages a little bit squiff like I have or you can't see you know you'll have hopefully you'll have all your pages the same size and level and you won't have like it going in there and stuff like mine because <laughs> I'm doing a tutorial and it would always come out wrong now once you've done it you'll have a like a little bit of a springy thing and I'm going to tell you now this 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 is your what you're going to stick your cover to so we're going to ignore this piece for now and that's going to be your cover page but then this is going to be your first page in your book so what we're going to do is because we want to form this pocket at the top so that we can put a little now this is where i went wrong because <laughs> i did it with that one first but then it just didn't work anyway don't do what i did ignore this page and we're going to start on this page so we're going to fold it over like that and then we're going to put glue here and here okay now you can use whatever glue you want i'm using wet glue and i'm just going to go it would help if you could see wouldn't it so i'm just going to go like that and i'm not going to put too much on and across there now that's all we want to do because we want to look we want to be able to put can you see that's all you want to do down the sides and across the bottom and then you press the page down and you hold it and when you get a baby wipe and you wipe all the glue off your hands because they're going to stick together as usual because I always get messy and then just give it a good old rub down Now, once it's stuck down, you have your first page in your book. And this page then has an opening at the top, which you can put a tag in. Then we go to your next page, which is this page here. And this page will look something like that. So it won't be exactly the same as that with the opening at the top. It will be like that. Now instead of doing an opening at the top with this this one we're going to do the opening at the side so what we're going to do is open it down like that and then we're going to put the glue up there and along there so we just go like that just like that as Tommy would say and then fold the page over like that Give it a good old crease, crease there, and a good old crease there. And hopefully that's stuck because we are using wet glue. We've got the page there going. That's it. Just give it, wait for it to set a bit. So then we have that page, and that page has got the pocket there. 
and then on this page we're going to again do the opening at the top so we open it that way and we do the glue down my hands and across there and then we pull that over and we stick that down now we're on 15 minutes and unfortunately peeps I do not know how to edit and so I'm going to keep going I'm not going to cut it down and you can choose whether you want to watch it or fast forward the bits because at the end of the day you think you've got the gist of how to do form these pages now this one is put it over like that and give it a good old squish down to get the glue to stick right oh it's not sticking I don't know what's going on so there's your cover page there's your first page with the pocket at the top there's your next page with the pocket at the side there's your next page with the pocket at the top so we come to this page which is going to be a pocket at the side again but this page you're going to open upwards and you're going to put the glue there down there and across yes, just like that and then pull your page down it takes a while for this glue to go off it's probably because I've um, watered it down a slightly to go in here um, because it is quite thick this is the glue that I'm using it's um, Aileen's quick dry tacky glue and um, because this is a very very fine nib and this glue is quite thick I did actually water it down a little bit so that could be why it's taking a bit of time to go off because this glue is amazing I've got to say I love it it is really good quality glue it's just What is going on there? Oh, hang on a sec. Yeah, we've not even got to that bit. That's why I'm getting confused. It's this bit. <laughs> oh gosh, look, it's that bit we're on. We're going to make the pocket there. There's a pocket on the side there. So then, this is the next page. And again, we're going to go back up and make the pocket at the top. So you get the picture, don't you, what we're doing. It's alternate. One at the top and one at the side. And that's just the way. You'll understand it because it's the way the paper forms. Um, and you're, you can see the pattern as you're folding the pages and how you're making it. So giving it a good old... Um, squeeze down there, fold it over, oops, give it a good old squeeze, so that's stuck down that one and there's your pocket there at the top, sorry this is a little bit repetitive but as I said I don't know how to edit, so this one again is going to be at the side, so do your page exactly the same way making sure you give it a good old rub down and up mm. now I was watching Annie this morning and she has started her journaling by fires and um, she has been doing it on her index cards or iCads as they're called and I was loving it and I also saw um is it Super Beth she's been doing journaling by fives also and I keep saying I want to have a go and I just haven't got round to doing it I just like you know I'm procrastinating right so this one again is going to be at the top so we open it up this is the last one 
and we're going to go down there and you know and then I'm going to do a big cheer when I finish this because I've got it right because <laughs> I always always wear so I've got a bit of glue everywhere there this is why I don't like doing these tutorials you know but hey ho <laughs> I make so many mistakes. Unbelievable. I make so much mess. And then I get indecisive and can't make up my mind. So, basically, there you have your pages and the inside of your um mini album or mini book whatever you want to call it so front cover and you have one two three four five six seven inside pages and the back cover and then you have um one obviously you why am i even counting there's seven pockets <laughs> top side Top side, top side, top. Yeah, so you don't have to do these pockets if you don't want to. If you don't want to, just stick the page completely down. Don't do not do what I did with the um, glue that way. Just stick the whole thing down. I mean, that's what I did with this one. I didn't do pockets at all. I just did pages, you know. Um, so it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. Um, but this is just a little something extra to put in there like that and that's that now we're going to put this aside for the moment and we're going to concentrate on the covers so and that will that will help that give that a minute to dry as well so here's your two covers and we're going to cover this and there are plenty of tutorials out there on how to cover <laughs> the covers for your book but I think what we're going to do is use use these papers, I think, uh, which is the Noel baubles, because I've got, these are perfect for this, and another one there. So I think we're going to use those, um, kind of like Christmas in July, and I'm going to have a quick drink of water again. Now. sorry about that people now the, my covers are three three and a quarter by three and a quarter but if you want to do yours three and a half by three and a half by all means do so it's entirely up to you but you want to do your um, cover piece here you want to have a border of at least three quarters of an inch all the way around preferably an inch all the way around but I'm going to do it, what's that, actually that's probably in there, well that's three quarters of an inch, yeah so three quarters of an inch, so basically, what's that, what am I doing, don't even ask because I didn't measure this bit, so you get the gist that you've got like a nice border all the way around but if you want precise measurements three and a quarter four four and a quarter four and a quarter by four and a quarter there you go simples and I'll, I'm going to use my cutter for this because my hands are really hurting but one second people just let me go and grab it <laughs> Yourselves. <laughs> right oh look this video is gonna be long long so we're going to, what did i say oh what did i say was it four and a quarter no four and three quarters <laughs> see i'm useless i can't remember four and three quarters by four and three quarters there you go i've got it and this cutter is not accurate um and i'm waiting for a new one so but 
hey ho, they, at least they're both be the same size. So four and a quarter, four and three quarters by four. Oh lordy lordy, four and what am I doing? No, that's I have four and three quarters. There you go. So don't even cut anything off. <laughs> Just right. So we got. Four and three quarters. By four and three quarters. Right. That's the I do that. Put those bits in the bin, I don't need them. Right, so here's the colours. Now what we're gonna do. However you want to do this, peeps, it, you know, just go for it. I'm going to use a bit of the old Mod Podge. Um, simply because I can. And somewhere here is my brush. My brush. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she says. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh well, we won't be using that. We'll just use a normal brush. Um, there you go. And we just cover that. Just cover it like that. And then get your cover. Probably don't stick it in the glue. And then we're going to pl place it in the middle. Now you can do this with. Um, with the <laughs> tape, double sided tape, you could do it with that any time of the easy for really. This bit, it's not rocket science, although in my case, it very well may be. Oh gosh, I go mad. Where's the other one? Let's get this done quickly. And I could have a cup of coffee. Maybe that's what I'm lacking this morning. Anyway, what I was saying was I was watching Annie's um, and um, Super Beth, the journal in by five, and I was absolutely enthralled with it, you know. I thought, I, I keep saying, I've, I mean, I've seen... I've seen people do it before and I keep saying, yeah, I really want to have a go at that. I really do. I don't know why I keep putting it off. I don't know. I think they're like most things, really. Right. Anyway, and then I'm like, oh, come on, because that, that, Beth's done part one and two and only he's done part one. And now I'm sitting here with bated breath waiting for the other parts to be uploaded by them. <laughs> But yeah, that's Annie XHX. She's such a sweetheart. Go and give her a sub if you haven't already. And then there's Super Beth, who is uh, oh journaling mad. She loves she loves her journaling. And uh, yeah, so what am I going to do? I was going to get a card and just scrape over that to um, let's use my ruler. Be careful doing that. I just want to. Make sure it's completely flat. It's probably a bit late actually to do that. It's probably drying already. But you could do that anyway. <laughs> not very professional, but never mind. Hey ho, I'm not professional. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to snip off the corners like that. Don't go right up to the edge, people, because you'll have a gap. So you want to go and you want to leave 
about that much can you see yeah whoops I'm no see I told you my hands are not working they just don't want to I think they're still in holiday mode <laughs> and then that one and then do the same with this one and you've got all these little triangles well, let's pop them in the bin I don't want those right now I'm just debating whether or not I should now pull these up crease them up give them a good old crease yeah I think I might use for quickness sake I think I might use um, double sided tape one second one second Right, so I've got the double sided tape, and I think that's what I'm going to use. But do I? No. So I'm going to put that there. Let's just cut it as easy. Yeah. I'm making a right mess. See, this is why I don't make videos because I'm just well, I do make videos. Tell her I, I do on things I'm quite confident on. But for you guys, because you said you wanted a video, you wanted a tutorial. Here I am, <sighs> giving you all a good laugh as usual. <laughs> I don't mind, you can all laugh at me or laugh with me, whatever you want to do. Oh, by the way, people, if you make one of these, please, please let me know. Please let me see it. I want to have a go. I want to have a look because I'm nosy like that. If you do it and you're on Facebook, send me a picture on Facebook. Oh, by the this is, and, and just to be clear this is not my personal um i didn't design this i actually found this on youtube it's called the one page mini so if you want to go and see somebody else's tutorial instead of mine <laughs> then you by all means go i mean there's quite a few so i'm not going to list um because I'm not going to list where I saw it because probably I can't actually remember. But this is not my design. Um, just so you know. Um, but saying that, mine will probably be completely different anyway. So <laughs> by the time I've finished. So that's what you do. You cover your little thing like that. You cover like that. And... Um, um you know just fold these sides up fold these sides up just makes it easier i mean look look how crisp that is in the edges so that's why i do it so then let's cut pull that up tape there I mean it went an awful funny shape didn't it look at it I don't know what on earth happened with that but we're not using it anyway <sighs> there you go that's that one done Oh, I'm 
made a mess of that and all that. Where's that one done? <laughs> How's that one done? There you go. Right, and then you stick these two ends up. Probably not just sticking your fingers to it, like me. This tape is mighty sticky. And then, don't run. Looking good. That one. I can't do that very. So there we have your covers. We need to go that way. So then decide which one you want on the front and which one you want on the back. I'm going to have this one on the front and that one on the back. So then you pop them open like that. And we're going to put tape all around here. Or actually you could put tape around the page I think. Yeah, put it on this page. So here we go and do it exactly the same. Let's put your tape and make sure you um, put quite a bit on because you want it to stick you don't want I mean preferably I would use wet glue and then leave it to dry because wet glue the, wet glue is the best glue to use because it has a stronger bond um, but you know use your red line tape or any for I'm just using it I mean this is sticky so and I'm using this just for quickness sake and because I'm filming. And you want to do this on the... It's not sticking down. And then I'm just going to pop a little tiny bit in the middle. Just that one there, like that. Got it? You can't see what I'm doing, can you? So, just put all your tape around the outside and then put tape in the middle. Now, the thing to remember about putting on the cover is you don't put this in the middle of this. It goes to the edge... And the reason being is you want your book to open like that. You don't want to have the... Um, um, it won't open out flat like this if you if you put this in the middle of the page, i.e. if you put that in there. You need to have this bit of the spine at the back, so like that. That's how you need to have it. So it sits like that. And that's exactly what we're going to do now. We're going to line it up and hopefully get it straight and press it down. Open it up. It looks pretty good, I've got to say. And then just stick it down like that. And there you have your front cover. And that's much better, the gap there and the gap there. I think, personally, it's a much better fit. But again, like I said, it's up to you. Now we're going to put the tape on the back bit. And I, yes, I know, this bit's boring. But you got it's got to be done, hasn't it? And I can't edit my films because I don't know how to. And I have not put that in the bestest place. Should have put that, moved that up because that's not gonna. I might have to put a bit on top of that now. Come on, finger lift tape. <laughs> that doesn't finger lift. There we go. And this one. Now, I hope everybody's um, enjoying the lovely weather. 
Um, I know it's been a little bit miserable the last couple of days, but on the whole, we've had some really beautiful days here. Um, so I hope everyone's had a chance to enjoy it all. I haven't been doing much. Just been watching YouTube videos and catching up with everybody. I've made some, I have found some really fantastic channels and I've subscribed to lots of new people and I've had lots of new subbies. Hello to all my new subbies. Um, thank you for subscribing to me and as I get, I say every time, I will sub you back. As soon as you appear in my subscription list, um, I will sub you back. Sometimes that takes a couple of days before that happens so bear with me and you know what YouTube's like it is not the best um, at timekeeping <laughs> so um, again we're going to do this and now it's easier to um, level it up like that and then give it a good old squish down and open it up and then just give it a good old burnish like that stick it down on and look, see now your book will open perfectly flat, which is great, great, great. Now that's the basis of your book, but as you can see on my one, I put this um, spine here to cover it up. And um, now this spine, in order to do it where the book still opens up, you have to you have to do it I'll show you It'll be easy on it <laughs> right so you have your bases of your book now you're going to cut a piece which is what did I say three quarters three quarters and three quarters three quarters and three quarters is uh, one and a half is it not yeah one and a half and then three quarters on top of that is two and a quarter so we're going to cut a strip which is three and a quarter by two and a quarter and this is going to be have I done that wrong that's the front no yeah I have <laughs> that's upside down look never mind we we'll have to cover that now Oh, what a ninny nana. Have you seen the pattern? Baubles going upwards. Wow, that's clever. So I'm going to have to cover that. Anyway, forget about that. Forget I did that. We're going to do this bit here. Now, I like to push down on that and just... Because if you see, right, when you've put all your tags and everything else like that in it, it tends to puff up like that so that's why I like to leave this gap so two and a quarter you're going to get a strip of two and a quarter by three and a quarter and I'm going to use this paper and I'm going to see if this measures three and a quarter which is, yeah I can do that so three and a quarter three and a quarter and turn it that way by two and a quarter there we go so this is the piece we need and then we bring up the scoreboard like so and then we're going to um, score it at three quarters of an inch there we go there's an inch turn it round and do the same thing and then with a bit of luck <laughs> with a bit of luck you should have three sections all the same size all three quarters but with this middle section here we need to put a little bit of a because if you look on my book 
there we need to put a little bit of a crease because when it opens it opens like that so so the pages get to open flat so we need to find the middle of there so three and a quarter three quarter <laughs> And that is one and one eighth. One um yeah, one and an eighth. And just put a light score mark down there. Nothing too bad. But see, you can see there's just a little score line down there, and that is at one and an eighth. Yep, yeah, one and an eighth. So just checking. So you've got three quarters, turn it round, two three quarters again, and then one and an eighth. And then just basically fold, fold, and this one's going to be a valley. Is it? No, it's not. It's going to be a peak. So you're going to have that going like that round there. You do not glue this bit. This bit is left. So you're only going to put adhesive on these two sides. So from there, got this. This this tape was just perfect, wasn't it? Perfect. And then this one here. It does help to get the tape on straight, though. Right, I really hope you can understand what I'm, <laughs> what I'm doing. If not, just tell me off. Say, so Sarah, no more tutorials, please. And look, I've completely messed that up because the glue's gone everywhere. The, the tape has gone over the edge and it, I haven't put it on straight. Because I'm a nana. What am I? Banana. <sighs> now take your tape off. Try not to put this upside down. <laughs> she said. <laughs> oh, she's got a way to go. She's got a way to go. I can't even get the tape off now. Oh. Oh my lord, what is going on? Where's my pokey tool? There we go. That's it. That's that side. That was going to step down properly, but hey ho. Come on, Sarah. Come on, hands. Work from, for, for me. We've not got long to go now. Come on, nearly there. There we go. There we go. Stick down. That's it. So, obviously, you can see what's going to happen. This is going to wrap around the book now. I've got to work this out because I know it's upside down. But so, this bit here, and we're going to put that up to the edge there. So. like that then you fold it over and then this is going to go see that line there so you're going to fold it over like that I need to do that and up it there there we go and there we have our and I fold that in as well so that, that when you open your book like that you see it goes like the other one like that so there you have the mains of your book now all that's left to do is to put your pockets in if you want pockets in here or you can put photo mats in there um, anything you want really and then and then tags in here or photo mats or journaling cards you name it you can decorate it 
I'm not going to show you how I decorate mine because, to be honest with you, what is the point? I, I would decorate it completely different to how you would. Um, if you want to put pockets in here, it's just simple. You get a piece of cardstock or paper um, that you want and then you um, oversize it a little bit So and then you crease it at th a quarter and a quarter of... Um, Oh my lord, a quarter inch either side, you score it, and a quarter at the bottom, and then you just score them under, and they're the tabs that you glue down. I think everybody and most people know how to make a pocket. Um, and then you can also make tuck spots. I did tuck spots in um, Chelsea's Mickey Mouse ones. I just stuck Mickey on and left the bit, the bit underneath open and just slid up the um, little mason jars that I made. Um, and, you know, these can go in there, but they're probably you probably need something a little bit bigger. Or you can put ribbons on the end and stuff like that. So there are your pockets. And don't do the cover upside down. I'm going to have to seriously cover that now, aren't I? Um, and, that, and that's basically um, your little book. Um, well, I hope <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial, even though it was a little bit mishmash here and mishmash there and everything. And you know, it came out all right in the end, except for an upside down cover. <laughs> I knew I couldn't get through the whole video, but I'm not going to do it again. That's it. Just just put your cover on. Probably the easiest way to do it, <laughs> I should have thought this, do a plain cover. That way you can't get it wrong, can you? If you do a plain cover, it doesn't matter. And then decorate it however you want it. That's, that's my advice. <laughs> and I should have heeded my own advice, but never mind. So, people, I hope you're still watching. That is, I mean... It is nearly an hour long, this video, and I don't think I've ever done a video this long before. But, there. And that's my time to go. Have a lovely day, people, and happy crafting.